right here I got the best counter sec. I can't really recommend using her right now because she's not the best. But if you're a counter lover like me, this will get you some wins. All right, in the first round, I'm going against Pink Fury. You'd think Countess would lose to this, would lose to this, but it's actually very doable. All right, we got round one against Pink Fury. I got the boss on the Countess. That way, she will super around much quicker, and then hopefully avoid the Pink Fury, so she won't be able to catch up with. I normally would like to get the decoy of death out first, but I didn't get him with the rerolls. Should be fine though. I do win this round. Barely. Alright, for round number two, I'm going to want to get the decoy. Yep. Get the art, the decoy out. I'm going to. And I'm going to get Magic Archer. Normally, you can 3-0 Pink Fury, but if it comes to it, you're going to want to max out your Magic Archer and Musketeer. Alright. So, I think this Pink Fury player is a little bit smarter. A lot of them have been losing to me. But this guy knows how to not get 3-0. I think it may have helped if I got the decoy out in the first round. I'm gonna move the countess to the stun tile. <clears throat> I'm gonna get the stun on the decoy. Upgrade the magic archer. I'm gonna get the archer for the max ranger synergy. Now countess is gonna be getting back some of the speed she lost from the nurse. Get the boast on the magic archer. And I'll also get the two enemies for the musketeer. I have a ton of elixir from his elixir golem. It will still be difficult to keep up. Alright. It's like we do in this round. The musketeer stun came in clutch. We got a lot of damage from the magic archer. We're gonna want to max out the magic archer. And I'm gonna get. Well, I wanted to get two more upgrades on the Musketeer, but it's not look like it doesn't look like that's going to be doable, so I'll upgrade the Archer. I'm going to increase her range so that hopefully I can weaken the backline and my Countess will avoid killing the Elixir Golem too early. Okay, his Elixir Golem was maxed out though, so that can be pretty scary. Do a lot of damage. I didn't get any more boasts on my magic archer like I hoped. Or on my counts. This is the last round. It's gonna be close, but I've, I'll be able to max out my deck here because I got so much elixir from him. So let's do that. Okay, actually not. I thought I would. I did previously. So I'm just going to stick skip out on the dagger tower. Come on, let's clear. Nice stuns. Wow, he has a lot of health, but we do win on the final round. It's actually surprising that Countess is able to beat the Pink Fury with how strong she is right now, but with this deck, it's very possible. I'm on a 5 1 streak, not bad at all. You can see I've gone against Pink Furies, Barbarian Kings. Alright, so monks. Monks are very difficult to beat. So, round number one, I'm going to want to get out the decoy. We need that monk to target the decoy. The main reason the decoy is in the deck is because there's two of them, which is going to distract the monk even more. So, looks like we're going to lose in round number one, because the monk is very difficult to beat for the Countess. This deck mainly wins against the Natureborns, the Pink Furies, and the, uh, Beast Barbarian King. I can't think of the other one it beats. 
I'm gonna go for the speed here. Then I'm just gonna get out the musketeer and archer. And I'm gonna move the uh, decoy over, hopefully for a distraction. Uh, that was good decoy placement. Make sure my uh, counter steers clear of that mini P.E.K.K.A. Got a little bit of a stun from the count or from the musketeer. Yeah, that boast is making it very difficult to kill him. But we do kill him. When he gets the max specialist energy, that's when you really lose against this deck. So there's not much you can do. When we get the max synergy and i go for the boast on the magic archer if we can get a boast it'll be really fast and hopefully that'll be enough to win or melt through his monk but we'll see i really need to get some boast stats on my counts but it's not always guaranteed you get one wow my count is teleported right on to the monk that's unfortunate. And he's gonna have an extra elixir. That's a good game for that round. I'm gonna try and pull through here, but like I said, it's near impossible against the monk. Let's see. And then we might count us over and then hopefully get some damage on that villager. I really need to get rid of that villager. I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna max out my magic archer actually. I was gonna get the stun on the decoy, but it really doesn't do a whole lot. And they have specialist synergy. It does a little bit of damage, but they pretty much heal that damage back just from one proc of the specialist. My countess is gonna dodge some stuns or some supers. Alright, now I really need my magic archer to do some work. He does, which is great. I think I got good positioning on my Countess. Because his villager is stopping his monk from doing anything for a little bit. Now, I hit get two enemy hits on the musketeer. Then I'm going to hit his back line with my magic archer. Or with my, with my regular archer. The reason I get two hits on the musketeer is... The, she, the, she won't get a stun on the specialist enemies usually, but she can push them back, which can be very helpful. And I have to hope his monk does not go for my magic archer. And a dodge. She's moving fast. Not fast enough. I right, know we need to get a knockback from the count. From the... Alright. Yeah. It's just, you can't kill the monk with that synergy. He just... Heals and heals and heals. I could go for the uh, anti-heal on the Countess, but they'll normally even out-heal that, or my Countess won't be fast enough to get away from him. Alright, we're against Shield Maiden. That's something you see a lot. Let's check it out. I'm going to go for... Let's see. I think I'm going to want the healing. Then I'll get out the decoy. Okay. Got undead synergy, which might uh, hurt my countess a lot. The reason I want healing is because she's going to need to be able to survive those big damage hits from the Royal Champion Supers. And then with the Ranger synergy, she will be healing even more because she's going faster so let's uh let's go ahead and get out my magic archer i'm gonna start right down the middle so he hits that witch in the back he's using guard or royal recruit and guard which is something you know. Don't see that often. Oof. It's a little scary. He's got the 
the second promotion on the Royal Champion. So if he gets a lot of supers in a row, I can shred my whole team. But I don't think my team is super weak to that, though. I'm going to get down the Dagger Thrower. I'm actually going to put my Countess back on this stun tile because I'm scared of her being in the front. Then I'm going to get the Musketeer for the max energy. He has a Prince. I don't know why I chose to Prince that, but it's fine with me. My Countess survives his... World Champion Super, and he doesn't give me boast. Survives it one more time, and I 3 0, which is very nice. RC can be a challenge for a Countess, but worked out in my favor here. Alright, that's my Countess deck. Like I said before, I wouldn't necessarily recommend her, she's not the best right now, but this deck is still super fun, so maybe it's worth a shot. Thanks for watching. Peace.